This is going to be good. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! I say it all the time and I mean it. The greatest of all time, John Cena, 16-time world champion. There is always a special buzz in the air when John Cena enters the arena. I believe the most polarizing superstar in WWE history. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. A mantra he lives by. This is going to be good. And his opponents, first, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John C. Byron, what can we expect to see in this Falls Count Anywhere match? The best thing I can tell you, Michael, is to expect the unexpected. Every time I see a match like this, I somehow end up seeing something I've never seen before. John Cena, with all the tools to be one of the all-time greats. He's really the prototype of what a WWE superstar should be. This is not your traditional John match, guys, and this one Cena! falls count anywhere in this arena. And if I'm a ticket holder, I'm on extra high alert during this one because there's a good chance this one ends up right beside them. Cena's looking to fly. Once again, it's time for the leader of the C Nation to defend the principles of hustle, loyalty, and respect. John Cena is one of WWE's longest tenured veterans, but he's still got plenty left in the tank. I agree with you, Byron. There's a reason they call the guy Big Match John. Some superstars who've competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt 
on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the one, two, three in a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal, especially in something like a triple threat match. If a superstar can defeat someone by pinfall and submit, this could be it. Drop kick! There's no way he's giving up that. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Ooh, what impact. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even help end outside the streets. And on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is, there are no rules. Oh, what impact. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. And here's John Cena. Destroy your face. Here he goes. Penny predicament. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Attitude adjustment. He goes for the cover. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner. John Cena! You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. That's the kind of action you expect here in the WWE when you put three rabid competitors in the ring at the same time. And folks, if you just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember, here we go, John Cena setting it up. Is he done? And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. For my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Oh, to the arm! Terrible! Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never considered, and that was working together. The Beast survived three consecutive AAs from John Cena and a curb stomp from Seth Rollins. Cena and Rollins then went toe-to-toe -to -toe as one tried to take the other out of the match. All three superstars suffered an incredible beating, which included Brock Lesnar being treated by two doctors at ringside. After surviving a barrage of offense from Seth Rollins, the Beast returned to his feet and destroyed the Architect with a devastating F5 to retain his championship. 
Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Is he done? He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, and keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere, and there's nothing you can do about it. Thunderous slam. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. John Cena with a nice reversal. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Ooh. 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 Nasty. John Cena with a nice reversal. You've got to believe this one's over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's in the driver's seat now. Yeah, but can John Cena take advantage now? Corey, you mentioned the triple threat rules earlier. Well, this match type became popular in the 1990s when it also went by names like the triangle match in WCW or a three-way dance in ECW. When we talk about a triple threat match, looking for the win. Bam! What a slam! I'm not sure. And a pin attempt. And Cena pops the shoulder up too soon. Hooked up. And Michino Gucci oh. Liger. Absolute. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quick. Here it oh, comes. Not again. Yes. <laughs> Believe it, Michael. Yeah, but can John Cena take it back? John Cena makes the cover. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars. Picked up. Oh, what a slam. He's looking good now, guys. He's got him covered. And kicks out at two. Big match, John, is not going to go down that easily. And look at the quickness by Cena. And then, real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count. John Cena looking to close this thing out. STF is in, STF is in. Wow, what a move. Hopefully John Cena can recover. He's looking for the win. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches. John Cena did it. Let's take another look at these guys in action. He ain't playing here. Check this out. Man, oh man, look at that. He really put on a great show. Here is your winner, John. Nice job turning back both competitors here tonight. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.